A freshman Jew Zion is sleeping in the back seat and his friend Louis Fugui wakes him up. Zion's father is an archaeologist who went to the Wuyi Mountains five years ago when Zion had to take care of her sick mother. He has never heard from his father since his departure. Zion doesn't have enough money to treat her mother, so he agrees to absurd tasks given by Fugui, who is a rich gangster. This time, Fugui asks Zion to wear a ring that dates to the Shang Dynasty, and his other men and a girl were also there to witness. Just a few moments after Zion wears the ring, he vomits out a piece of flesh that cuts off Fugui's arm and then transforms into a complete red-colored monster. Zion can't take off the ring. The monster kills everyone around him and moves towards Zion and the girl. Zion kisses the girl as he doesn't want to die single. Fortunately, a man blocks the monster and Zion gets a chance to escape. Zion is now worried about how he will pay for his mother's treatment. The girl takes Zion to a hotel room and tells him that she's Jiang Xuanyan, a reporter from Chengden Daily Paper. Jiang examines the ring and reveals that the ring is ingrained into Zion's finger. Jiang wants to examine Zion's body and knock him down. When Jiang realizes she's missing her phone, she goes back to the incident's location. Zion dreams about the monster and wakes up. In the morning the police break into his room. Inspector Ao Yang Shen and Mei Zai Okian suspect Zion in the murder case. Zion tells the police that a monster was responsible for the killing and he escaped with Zhang. When Zion goes with the police, he comes to know that Zhang is also dead. Mei accuses Zion of lying because the police found Zhang's body at the crime location. The monster appears again to Zion and presents a deal. The monster will help him escape if Zion gives the monster his body. Zion refuses, but the monster tells him that he will wait for Zion to change his mind. The police van is attacked and Zion opens his eyes to a group of masked men sent by Fugui to get him. Fugui tells Zion that they can prove his innocence as he has sent someone to get Jiang's phone. However, they don't know Jiang is not a normal human being. Jiang's wounds heal magically. She kills Fugui's man and runs away with her phone. Fugui tells Zion that he will pay for his mother's treatment if he gets the ring and Jiang's phone. A squad that follows Jiang into a mysterious house finds only a bunch of zombies there who kill them in seconds. Zion and others also reach the house, but Shen warns them that whoever went into this house never returned. The squad goes inside and finds a secret passage where they come across the previous squad's dead bodies. When they keep moving forward, they find a room filled with strange specimens. The house is full of mysteries that trigger them to keep moving forward. However, they are unaware that someone is controlling the house with a computer system. Zion and others fall into an even deeper stage where they get attacked by arrows. Zion realizes it's a light-sensitive system, so they turn off their torches and throw a bomb which destroys the system. The mastermind behind this house House is a scientist, Old Wang, and Jiang is along with him too. Sion and others end up in another strange room, again with two half-human creatures on display. Suddenly those creatures come to life and start attacking everyone. A few of the squad members get killed while others try to use guns, but they are ineffective. Zion finds Jiang's lipstick mark on a nearby wall, which turns out to be a secret elevator that helps them escape. The elevator stops at an operating room with a beautiful girl. At first, they mistake her for the celebrity Liu Yanyuan and think she's in danger. But Zion sees the stitches on her neck and tells others to move. She is a monster as well. When she proceeds to attack Xiaokian, Aoyang sacrifices himself to save her. He wasn't lying when he said he loved Xiaokian. The monster girl tells others that she is, indeed, Liu Yanyuan, but she has gone through surgery to preserve her beauty. This surgery has been going on in the country for a while, but very few people know about it. It gives an individual immortal life and beauty. The squad shoots blindly at her but all in vain at Liu's immortal body. The boss of the squad throws a bomb at Liu, which gives others a chance to escape. The remaining two squad members shoot at Xiaokian's leg to make a feast for the monster and get more time to escape. Zion refuses to accept this inhumanity, so they leave him behind with a claymore mine. Wang blames Jiang for inviting people inside the house. He's afraid that if their secret is revealed to the world, his boss, corpse chief, will not show any pity. Jiang doesn't take him seriously, which makes the man lose his temper and he puts an electric cage around Jiang. Zion and Xiaokian hear a sudden sound. Xiaokian tells Zion that it must be Liu, so he should run away while she lures Liu towards the mine. Zion refuses and walks towards the sound himself. Zion asks the red monster for his help in exchange for his body. The monster kills Liu easily, and her last words are that in her next life, she will not get into the entertainment industry. On the other side, the two squad members who left Zion get attacked by zombie mosquitoes who suck their blood 
causing their death. Meanwhile, Xiaokian crawls to where Zion is and faints. Zion is worried for her life and invites the monster to take over his body and carry Xiaokian out of this place. As soon as the monster starts the process, he breaks his promise already and tells Zion he will kill Xiaokian too. Fortunately, he gets interrupted by the squad's boss, Wen Dao, who saved Zion from that red devil last time. While fighting, the monster starts taking the names of people he has killed. Those names belong to the Shang Dynasty. This makes Zion realize that this monster is no other than the rebirth of King Zhu Dixon. The monster confirms that he is Dixon, the king of the Shang Dynasty. However, Dao calls him a part of the zombie nation who are nothing more than heart-eating monsters. Dixon eats human hearts to make himself immortal. Zion is shocked to see Dao having the guts to stand against Dixon. Jiang is tied up by Wan who wants to change his face so the corpse chief doesn't get attracted by her beauty anymore and he can get the position he deserves. However, Jiang frees her one leg and hits Wang, who in turn hits the cupboard behind him. A monster hand gets out of its container and starts playing with the computer system which activates the house's self-destruction mode. The house is about to explode in 30 minutes. Wang makes his way out and takes unconscious Xiaokian along with him as a gift to the corpse chief. Meanwhile, the Dixon's ring gives strange powers to Zion and he destroys the King Zhu monster. Dao tells Zion he knows who can give them more information about the ring, but they need to get out of this place first. Surprisingly, Jiang joins them too. Though she's also from the zombie nation, she offers Zion help to get out of this place. But there's still one hurdle left, the Claymore Mine. Jiang says she will take care of the mine and tells Zion to look away while Dao goes away to pee. When the mine gets disposed of safely, Zion turns back to check on Jiang. Her body was covered in glowing marks. Jiang warns Zion not to tell anyone what he saw. The water starts to fill up the passage, so they rush on their way out. When they come across the zombie mosquitoes, Dao tells Jiang and Zion to run away first and let him deal. After blocking the mosquitoes successfully, he joins the other again. However, they are unaware of another monster present under the water. They finally find a way out, but the underwater monster gets in their way. Jiang uses a fire weapon to save them, but when they are just about to climb out, Zion is pulled inside the water. Zion opens his eyes in a hotel room. He gets to know from the news that he's wanted by the police, as Xiaokian was the mayor's daughter. Zion also finds a note from Wen Dao inviting him to a place to tell him about the secret of the ring. Zion sneaks into the hospital to tell his mother that he isn't a criminal and that he will clear his name soon. Moreover, the corpse chief is no other than Mr. Bai, who seems to be a respectable member of society, but he's part of the zombie nation. Wang presents Xiaokian to Bai and tells him that he can't leave her, as she has seen their research center. Wang also calls Jiang a rebel and hands over his phone to Bai to get a zombie pill. However, he didn't know that Bai was the one who sent Jiang to find divinity. Wang transforms into a monster to fight them, but Bai kills him in just a minute. Though it's against the zombie nation's laws, Bai wants to achieve divinity to become the eternal zombie king. Meanwhile, Zion is running from the police when Fugui pulls him inside his van. Fugui is angry after knowing that Zion didn't bring the phone and can't remove the ring either. He wants to cut off the finger, but Zion tells him that there's a way to remove it if he lets him go and meet Dao at the Changsu Temple. Zion joins an elderly discount trip to Mui Mountains, but gets lost on the way to the temple. Suddenly, he hears a girl crying for help. When he turns to look, it was the foreign girl Tart. He saw her at Bai's history lecture. She is being chased by villagers who want the pendant she's wearing. Zion saves her and jumps the mountain after her. Fortunately, the ring power awakens again and saves them from falling. Zion doesn't tell Tart about the ring. Instead, he lies and says he saved her with magical powers. They are now stuck on a mountain of hanging coffins. People used to believe that hanging coffins could help them become deities. Tart is researching deities, especially the legendary deity Peng Zhu. That's why she came here. When Tart falls asleep, Zion begins to think about his father, who abandoned them. This made him angry, and he peed on a nearby coffin. Suddenly, the coffin opens and a strange little creature comes out, making Zion scream. Tart wakes up in terror. The creature introduces himself as the lesser deity Mu Zuxi, the master of Dao who has been sent from Tiangsu Temple to bring Zion. Tart is delighted to finally meet a deity, and requests to come too. The deity instructs them to close their eyes and they jump together into a transporting hole. After closing his eyes, Zion dreams about an old man being eaten by the people around him. Zion wakes up in terror and finds himself in a cave with Mu Zuxi and Tart. Mu Zuxi tells him that the old man ghost you may see around here is Peng Zhu. This makes Zion assume that maybe Peng Zhu was eaten by his grandchildren who gave rise to the zombie nation. Dao comes over and agrees with Zion's hypothesis. Dao takes Zion to a hot spring. 
as the temple is a place for a prestigious group to cultivate to become deities. Therefore, outsiders have to take a bath and change clothes before entering there. Thou gets drunk. So Mu Zuxi takes him and Zion to a place to sleep. Zion can't believe that the deities and Dao are a bunch of weirdos. He can't trust them, so he goes to search for reality himself. He finds Zuxi and another deity training outside the Tiangsu temple. They talk about how their skills are useless because they can't show up in front of others because of their weird appearance. They also mention that five years ago, an excavation group entered the temple mistakenly. And after that five deities got back their human appearance. Zion is trying to listen closely but gets caught by a senior deity, Pure Yang. Zuxi tells Yang that Zion is a guest invited by the true lord and takes him inside the temple. Zion can't resist the food in front of him and starts eating. Yang considers it disrespectful and attacks Zion. The ring powers awake again and a fight begins. The true lord stops them and instructs them to sit down. He tells Zion that everyone who has ever tried to wear this ring has died. Zion should consider it a miracle that he can handle this power. Zion feels disappointed that the ring can't be removed, but accepts the true lord's request to stay till the next day for a big announcement. The deities predict that the true lord may choose Zion as his successor so they plan to kill the true lord to take his place. Meanwhile, Bai and Jiang have found their way to Tiangsu Temple and are heading towards it. However, Zion believes things are not that simple. He thinks there's a possibility that the King Zhu monster hasn't died and is still in his body waiting for the right moment to take over. Bai and Jiang make it to the temple and start searching for divinity. Suddenly, there's the sound of a gunshot and deities shouting that the true lord has been shot by Tart. When Zion and Dao enter the temple, they see Tart holding the gun. She tells everyone that she has taken revenge for his father, who was killed by deities five years ago. He witnessed the killing of an excavation group by the deities, so the true lord killed him to keep the secret. After hearing this, Zion realized that it was his father's excavation group. Tart tells that the deities rescued the excavation group from the zombies and brought them to the temple where her father Zioayazi met them. The group researched divinity and found that there were huge amounts of radiation coming from the ground that had turned deities into such absurd forms. However, the deities didn't listen to them and used them to make a pill that turned the true lord and a few deities back to human form. Zioayazi witnessed this all, therefore, he was killed by the deities and they closed the temple for outsiders. Zuxi was also a witness to that incident. He comes forward and confirms it was all true. Zion can't control himself after hearing that the deities killed his father to make a pill for themselves. His ring powers maximize, turning him into a dangerous being. Thou escapes with Zuxi and Tart while the other deities try to defeat Zion by combining their powers. The deities cause a huge blast over Zion. He is still alive but falls unconscious. Young tries to kill him, but Dao and Zuxi come over to save Zion. Dao says to the deities that they are even worse than the zombies. This makes Yang angry and he attacks Dao, but Zuxi takes the attack over himself and sacrifices his life to save Dao. Meanwhile, Bai sends his league to destroy the Tiangsu temple. Dao and Tart are tied up while Zion is still unconscious. When the deities can't take off the ring, they decide to cast Zion into the divinity hole. Yang takes over the place of the true lord and announces that it's alright to sacrifice a few humans to cultivate divinity. He convinces all deities to follow his evil plans. Bai and Jiang also reach the divinity hole and jump in. Zion wakes up and accepts that he's going to die soon. He apologizes to his parents and wishes for the happiness of all the people he once met. Suddenly, he hears King Zhu's voice again. He again provokes Zion to accept his help to take revenge and protect his friends. This is all for this anime. Give the video a like and I will see you in the next minutes.